that he really needs to specifically work on. Like he seemed to get hit with a lot of the same punches that he got hit against Polly with. And yeah, and, 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 and he was getting hit over the top. You see? Uh, 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 dude kept. It was kind of wide, but he was coming over the top, catching Broner. And uh, man, and that something like that would have been real easy to roll off the shoulder. <laughs> Right. You know, and uh, hey, he didn't do it. Right. And as far as power, I, you, you see, you think it's there? I mean, you think that was one thing that really hurt him there was that Maidana didn't really have to respect his power. He didn't seem to be able to hurt him. What about the power? Do you think, I mean, the, the fact that he didn't really carry the power up with them to 147, Broner did, and do you think that was really helped Maidana a lot because he didn't really have to respect um, Broner and his power? Well, he, uh... It's kind of the way Polly, you know, he didn't have to respect Polly's power when they fought. Well, Paul, Paulie, uh, we, we know Paulie is not a big puncher, but uh, like I said, man, uh, uh, Rona is a different thing from Paulie. You know what I'm just saying? He beat Paulie, but I'm saying Rona is a different thing from Paulie than uh, he is with Madonna. I, he's uh, a guy that can punch pretty good, but I don't think his punch was landing that hard. Uh, Broner was punching with land in that eye because he was throwing arm punches. Yeah. You know, he, he didn't sit down on none of the punches. Yeah! See, most times you hear people when they, when they sit down on the punches, man, you'll hear a grind uh, or something. They're going to do something, man. You're going to hear some kind of sound most of the time yeah. when, you, when you put your power in with the, with the sound. All right. Well, last question. Uh, obviously, your son is one of the most uh, outspoken uh, verbal type fighters out there. Uh, Broner was, is obviously like to the next level almost. How do you think a loss like this will affect him and should it? If you were advising him, do you advise him to maybe change his personality a little bit or keep going where he is or, or nope. how do you think it'll I ain't affect him? I ain't gonna tell him to change no personality. I'm gonna tell him to change his trainer. That's what he's gonna do if you wanna get where you wanna get. It's on him what he wanna do. If you don't wanna, if you don't wanna do it, that's fine. I'm more than glad with that. But hey, cause because I'm, I'm not the one that's trying to clam no ladders and talk stuff and get my ass whooped. So you ain't got to worry about me. I'm just telling you the way it is. If you want to get it right, you better take a bite off of this old man right here. Right. So do you, do you think, just, just to, to follow up on that, do you think it will? I mean, how when you have someone like that that comes off a loss like that, as a, fight, as a former fighter yourself, how do you think that will affect him? I mean, do you think it'll change him a little bit as far as uh, you know his personality? I'm going to tell you like this right here. I think it, I think that it, he should come back, get his revenge. Don't, you ain't got to say the first fight or the second fight. By the time the third fight, he, he, should, be, he should be good enough at that point. That I taught him enough to do what he needs to do stop this guy. I'm telling you right now, I can, have, I can have walk right to that guy. The same thing my son did to Alvarez. And don't get hit. Fire back. Take care of your business. Stay on the case and run your place. So he does that and looks you up. He'll be good to go, right? Thank you. All right. Thanks, bud. Yeah. I thought, I thought Madonna had an excellent game plan. It, it seemed that Robert Garcia and his team did their job. They came prepared for the fight. They were 100% in shape, what it looked like. And um, I think I think this was just like a humbling experience for Bronner. Um, he got to slow down just a little bit, you know. Um, he does have a lot of talent. He showed a lot of things in that fight. He showed a lot of heart. He showed a lot of will to win. Regardless that he was losing, regardless that he went down, he got up like a true champ and continued to fight. It seemed like his jaw was broke for a good amount of fight, and he still was fighting. So um, Bronner showed a lot as well, you know. He just showed, you know, he needs to slow down a little bit. You know, obviously, um, these tougher guys, you know, these fights get tougher and tougher, so you got to take your job more seriously. I think it's just a, just a humbling experience. Uh, I think Bronner will bounce back like a true champion that he is. Like I said, he showed a lot of things. And, and Maidana, you know, props to him and his team. Again, Robert Garcia came out with, a, with an excellent game plan. Um, they said Bronner would take the first two rounds off. They was going to jump on him, and that's exactly what they did. And I feel like those first two rounds dictated the whole fight. You know, he, he hurt Bronner. 
Bronner felt his power, and it was just it was a com it was a completely different story once once my Donna did we had to do. So um, you know I was I was I was it was a great fight. It was a great fight for boxing fans. It was a great fight for boxing in general. It's gonna make things a lot trickier now. You know that welterweight divisions are stacked. Yeah. You know and um, but it, it was it was it was overall it was a great weekend for boxing. Well, speaking of the body good. I figured that he just throw the body a little more, but my Donna came with a different game plan. Rushed him. He's just size on him. I think Bronny needs to go back and throw down, throw down to 35, then go, go to 140, grow in the weight class, because it looks like he just got, you can see the strength difference. Looks like he just got thrown out there. And, uh, was a little too, not strong with him for that weight class. Why did you see it coming, Ryan? That's what I said, I see it coming. <laughs> because he speaks Spanish? There's no reason why. Oh, he's yeah. rooting yeah. for the, uh, the ethnic group, right? Yeah. Right. That's exactly why. Right. <laughs> he's like a fake ass butt in, butt out. <laughs> so, so he, had, you answered Mo. What do you think he needs to do, Ryan? What does uh, Broner need to do? Because uh, a lot of people had him as the next superstar. So, so what do you think he needs to do? He needs to humble himself. Go back to the drawing board. Yeah. That's that's the one they want to ask you, Mo. Is a guy that that uh, a lot of people have strong opinions about. A lot of people were really quick and ready to jump on him when he lost. How do you deal with that when, when you come, uh, you know, when you have people, a lot of haters jumping on you when you lose and are excited about that? It's like this. His biggest loss is better than the biggest win. You know what I'm saying? No matter. All you have to do is go back to the drawing board. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and just start over. Start, start, start from scratch to build off his mistakes. Um, I think the next star is Errol Spence. Yeah. Errol Spence, yeah. Good Change the attitude or just keep going like he is and don't let it uh, bother him? What, what's the change? He is at, he, people, people made an opinion about him off of his attitude. Just go back to drawing for train hard, train smart. Because the thing is, if he try to be all humble like that, people still talk shit about him from the past. It makes no difference. Just be yourself, man. Have fun. Uh, thanks for your, Mo, and uh, thanks for your in-depth analysis, Ryan. Appreciate that. What the fuck that he uh, sampled on his chin, he never fully recovered from that punch. And Madonna just kept the pressure on. And then what made it good for Madonna is he applied his jab. Who did you have going into the fight and were, were you surprised by the outcome? No, I wasn't surprised because this, this is, you fight for the championship of the world. You know what I'm saying? The championship is not yours. Always remember that. And at that point, he borrowed it for a few days. And that's what happened. He borrowed it and uh, my daughter took it. Well, so what, the, the one knock on, or at least I should say the one people, one thing people had questioned about Groner was uh, moving up in weight class if he'd be able to take a punch. Obviously, he didn't handle Maidana too well. Um, do you think that he can stay there at 147? Do you, do you think he can handle it, or do you think he needs to move back down? My opinion, and this is just my opinion, I think he should move down. Where do you think, 140 or? 140. 140? Yeah. Um, do you think, uh, so you'd advise it to, that's, that was your, your fighter? Right. All right, then, do you think he will? That's on him. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of money at 147 pounds. Right. Other than that, now, what do you think about what he needs to work on? I mean, obviously, he took a lot of damage. He, he took a lot of hits. I'm susceptible to the, to the left hook very a lot in the fight. Um, what does he need to work on as far as uh, his defense goes? There's only one Floyd. You got to put that in his repertoire. You can't beat Floyd. There's only one Floyd. They broke that bowl after they made it. So he need to come up with another situation. Yeah, speaking of Floyd, do you think that's one thing a lot of fighters uh, mistakenly try to do because Floyd's so great at defense, they think if they kind of do the same thing he does, they'll be just as good when actually his style really only works for him? Again, there's only one Floyd. Now, Floyd didn't invent the shoulder roll. That's been out, but Floyd took the shoulder roll to another level. That's what he did. So, so abandon the shoulder roll, basically. Your, oh, man, you got to throw that out, man. Right. Yeah, leave that low. Right. And then, you know, Broner's obviously a guy that is very polarizing. A lot of people uh, love to hate him. A loss like this, do you think it humbles him? And if you were his trainer, would you advise him to, to change it or stay the same way? Because love or hate, as long as they have a strong opinion about you, it still makes money. So as far as personality goes, do you think he'll change it all? And well, it? listen, you got to find your own style. You know what I'm saying? You got to do that. Once you find your own style, find out who you are. Then you can commit to fighting again. All right, thanks, I appreciate it. Okay. Well, my thoughts on the fight was it didn't, it didn't put in the effort that it should have. Don't look like he prepared properly for the fight. Uh, 
He didn't use his craftiness like he should against the kid. Were you surprised that, that he lost fun? I mean, he was a big favorite going in. Yeah, I was surprised, but I, I don't really put a lot on Broner. I'm not a big Broner fan. Well, well, he's a guy that's that's well known for being brash and and uh, saying a lot. So, so do you think this will change him in any way? Well, if so, he's got to learn that most people are paying to see him lose. They're not paying to see him win. You know, he's getting ready to go through the same scenario as Muhammad Ali did. You know, people paid to see him lose. They didn't pay to see him win. So even though you're not a fan, like you said, you just still stick to his guns and, and not change his personality? Yeah, well, his personality has nothing to do with it, but if he didn't... Well, as far as they're paying to see him lose, all right, the more you're... Yeah, but I mean, his persona, I mean, then he bought... Just with him leaving out of the ring the way he did, yeah. he better make sure that he had to go. To, he had to go to the doctor because they are not going to let him make that kind of money again. Yeah. Well, he had a broken jaw, so I guess that's. Yeah, I thing. know. Man. I know that. So this last thing, future him 147, or is he going to go down to 140 or even lower? If he's probably at 147, he's got a box. You know, he can't sit on the inside with these guys. Use his weight, his craft, his savvy. Uh, he's got it. Gotta go ahead and use. Um, um, to be honest, I wasn't, I wasn't too, too surprised, but um, because I knew, I knew um, Madonna was a lot bigger. I, I, I think, I didn't think it was gonna happen like that, but I knew it was gonna be a hard fight for him because, um, because the way he performed with the poly fight, I knew he wasn't that, he wasn't too strong at 147. But Madonna was a lot strong guy. My thing is like, bang a boxer, and box a banger. Um, Madonna applied the pressure. And you know, every day it seemed like the tactics of um, Bronner, you know, it just wasn't prepared like for Madonna power and just like athletic ability to stay on top of him like that. I feel that Bronner like underestimated Madonna. So and the result is what it, what it was. What should Bronner do next? Move down, stay there, change his game. I think you, uh, I think you should move down. Yeah, I think you should go up. back. One forty or one thirty five. I said one forty. Yeah. Yeah, better shot. It yeah. looked to me like the fight when um, Roy Jones when he moved up to lightweight. Those guys, that, I mean, not lightweight, but um, light heavyweight. Those guys was like way too strong for him, and it's a different punch. You know, those weighing one thirty five pounds punching, and Brown felt the effects of it. So he can come back though. He got to go back to his old weight though. I feel. And um, Madonna, you have to understand, he got um, he got experience fighting good boxers, like Amir Khan, yeah. um, Ortiz, um, Jeff Dijan. Yeah. So you know, I, I knew I knew um, I knew he was gonna be pretty hard, pretty hard yeah. fight. It wasn't gonna be no easy. Brown was gonna whoop on him. Hey, they put on a great show. Yeah, yeah. great fight for sure. All right, gotta get back to work. All right, thanks.